Timers look ready. Timers look ready. Crowd, are you ready? Yeah. Right, everyone, let's get ready to shock me! I got good at it, and that's when I started entering the competitions. And then, like now, I'm just, you know, it's more of a, just a hobby, a fun thing to do. You know, like, what do you do in a cold October weekend? Yeah. But we got a hot October weekend, yeah. so it's even better. So, do you go in through the front and cut the muscle? I go in through the hinge. That's how the restaurant workers do it. Okay. So, like, behind us, you'll see David. He used to work in restaurants. And uh, it's just, you get the oyster, the knife in that hinge pocket, and you pop the top shell by breaking the hinge and then you just run your knife along the top shell to cut the muscle so you remove the top shell and then you cut the your, now that you're in the oyster you can cut that bottom muscle and there you go present it to your patron who's wanting that oyster Fest is the biggest gig in this area. We get uh, we get over 20,000 people coming in here. Uh, we've got um, it's the whole the whole concept of Oyster Fest 42 years ago was to bring nonprofits together to where to where we're all going to make some money at this event, and then we get to give it all away. Our Rotary Club, for instance. Um, we gave over $20,000 in scholarships last year. We gave over 12,000 in community grants. So that'll be for crisis, you know, you know, the youth connection, you name it. Um, and the cool thing about the concept of this whole thing is we don't allow any, uh, we don't allow any retail. So everything is nonprofit 